In this tutorial, we will be going over some of the new features of the Move tool and refreshing on some of the old. First, make sure that you are on the Edit screen and select the Move icon from the toolbar here. We now have a lot of options to move patterns around. These four arrows with the boxes will allow you to move the patterns incrementally right, left, down, or up. And you actually have control over these settings. If you go into settings here on the left, and then into parameters, you will see the move increment box. This will allow you to adjust how far the pattern will move every time you select one of the move arrows. The increments displayed are in inches, so at point 0.1, the pattern will move at one-tenth of an inch. If I wanted the pattern to move a half inch with each selection, I would set this value to point 0.5. When I go back to move in the edit screen, Every time I hit one of the arrows, the pattern will now move a half inch with each press. The newer icons that you see here are also quite useful. When selected, they will move the pattern to predefined locations in the pattern boxes. These four tools, called edge tools, will move the pattern to the edge of the pattern box. Use these tools in conjunction with each other to get the patterns where you desire. If you want the pattern in the bottom right, hit down and then right. Back to top left, select up, and then left. The other two tools, called center tools, will center the pattern. This icon will center the pattern horizontally, and this icon will center the pattern vertically. These can also be used in conjunction with the move to edge tools. Try horizontal center, bottom, or horizontal center, vertical center, right. You can also move patterns by dragging them on the screen. Now, you may have found this to be a picky feature. If your finger is not directly over the green circle, it sometimes will not register. But, take a look at this neat trick. When you have the move icon selected, you can place your finger anywhere on the pattern and have it move freely, much easier than trying to do it outside of move. You can also use the machine to move patterns with the Move Start tool. Place the machine where you would like the start point of the pattern. Say that I wanted to move the pattern here. Simply select Move Start, and the pattern will move so that the start point is directly over the crosshair on the display, where the blue lines intersect. If you have multiple patterns in the pattern box, you can move all of them at once. Let me add a few with the Duplicate Pattern tool. We will cover this one in more detail in another video. Now, let me move these patterns to give them a little bit more space. Check the Move All box. The check will come in very faint. Sometimes it is hard to see if it is checked, but if you look closely, you should be able to see the faint check. Move All will only affect the Move Start option. It will have no bearing on the other Move tools. If we move the machine and select Move Start, then the patterns and the pattern box will all move. Keep in mind that everything will be moved based off of the selected pattern start point. If I select a different pattern, notice how it is that pattern start point that will move to the crosshair location. And that is it for the Move tool.